Hey, what's up guys, Will here for GSM Arena. If you're a fan of huge phones, then you've probably heard of Xiaomi's Mi Max series. In its latest release, the Mi Max 3 has just arrived, so let's check it out. Let's open up this box. First you see the phone, and yeah, it's a big one. Let's take these stickers off. Not bad. Put it off to the side and next is the reading materials and the SIM key. Below that is the USB Type-C cable. And finally, the 18 watt quick charger. So now that we have the Mi Max 3 in our hands, let's go over its key features. First up, a massive screen. One of the biggest benefits of having a phone this size is its large display. And yes, this phone is big. Take a look compared to the Galaxy S9 Plus. But though it is made of metal, the Mi Max 3 actually feels sort of light for the size. It weighs in at 221 grams. Still though, good luck trying to use this phone with one hand. The display itself looks great though. Like last year, it's an LCD, but now it's 6.9 inches with an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. Even though the resolution is still 1080p, content looks sharp. The experience feels quite cinematic on this big screen compared to watching on smaller phones. But you probably won't be getting cinema grade audio from the Mi Max's unbalanced stereo speakers. The top one is hardly pulling its own weight. But at least you can plug in headphones through the 3.5mm jack when you want a personal experience. Next, an upgraded processor. The Mi Max 3 has a Snapdragon 636 chipset with either 4 or 6 gigs of RAM. It's a step up from last year's Snapdragon 625. We've seen the 636 in this year's Redmi Note 5, and it blew away the 625 in benchmarks. It's still a mid-range chipset though, and quite power efficient. We'll have to do more testing, but performance feels good. As for MIUI 9, it's responsive, and we got everything installed and running in no time. There's plenty of space too. It comes with up to 128 gigs of internal storage, and it is expandable. The only real hiccup so far is that a lot of things on our ROM are in Chinese, but that will change when the global version is out. Just remember that if you buy a gray import now, make sure that the seller pre-installs Google Play services and can promise updates down the line. Third on the list, a giant battery pack. A lot of big phones bring the benefit of a big battery, and the Mi Max 3 is no exception. It has a 5500 mAh battery capacity. Pretty crazy. It's even bigger than last year's Mi Max 2's, which was 5300 mAh. Since last year's model had a superb score in our battery tests, we'd expect nothing less from the Mi Max 3. We'll have to see. There's support for Quick Charge 3.0, and with the bundled 18 watt charger, you should be able to charge at a decent speed. Don't expect anything lightning fast, however, with a battery this large. Finally, a new dual camera setup. This year's Mi Max comes with dual cameras. It's the same setup as on the Redmi Note 5 AI dual camera phone. There's a 12 megapixel f1.9 main shooter with dual pixel phase detection autofocus and a secondary 5 megapixel depth sensor. The camera has AI support and it can adjust settings for you based on scene detection. If the camera performance is like the Redmi's, daylight images should be very good. Here's a couple of quick shots from the Mi Max 3 for you to check out. Of course, why have a dual camera if you're not going to shoot some portraits? And here's a selfie sample. We'll have a more in-depth analysis of the camera in our full review. So there you have it guys. The Mi Max 3 definitely isn't for everyone, but if you don't mind the large form factor, it does have a lot to offer. What do you think? Let us know in the comments down below, and we'll try to answer any questions you have in our full review coming soon. See you!